Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, in this class I am solving doubts sent by a student. The questions are from trigonometry section from previous year SSC CGL papers. And uh, uh, let's take the first question. Here you have to find out the value of this given expression, right? Now there are various ways. First of, first of all, you can just expand this expression and then reduce to 0, 1, minus 1 or sec A, right? Apart from that, uh, you can take the comfortable value of A. So that would be rather easier um, if you take the comfortable value of A, now what can be the comfortable value a, value of A? So I generally suggest do not take the values which are which uh, may answer in um, zero or something like that, right? Zero or infinity. So what we can do is see if you know zero degree, forty five degree, and ninety degree for all six trigonometric functions: sine, cos, ten, sec, cosec, and cot then it will be easy for you to uh, do these sort of questions, right? You can do these sort of questions in less amount of time with less paperwork, right? Now what I do, I take um, a 45 degree over here, right? So that will be simple because 0 and 90, what will happen? Cot 10, 0 is 0, but cot 0 is infinity. So it will be difficult to calculate and uh, not advisable as well, right? But cot 45, we have the value, right? That's not uh, neither 0, not infinity. So, cot square, uh, cot 45 degree is actually 1. So, cot square, that will be 1. Sec 45 degree, see, uh, cos 45 degree is 1 by root 2. So, sec 45 degree is root 2. So, it is root 2 minus 1. Right? 1 plus 1 upon root 2. So, what will happen? 1 plus 1 upon root 2. So, if, if you take LCM, it will be root 2 plus 1. And then, root 2. Plus, sec square a, uh, sec 45 degree is um, root 2, so sec square a will be 2, then sin a, 1 upon root 2 minus 1, so that is 1 minus root 2 upon 1 plus sec a, so 1 plus root 2. And the sin was, sin a was 1 by root 2, so in denominator we will have 1 by root 2. Now this is precisely root 2. Now this is root 2 minus 1, this is 1 minus root 2. So, so if you take minus as common, it will be root 2 minus 1, right? So root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1 and over here minus of root 2 minus 1 upon root 2 plus 1, right? So finally everything will be cancelled. This expression minus the same expression, the value will be 0, okay? So without expanding this on then reducing, you can easily answer this question, okay? Then this question, sin x plus cos x is equal to a, then modulus of sin x minus cos x equals. Okay, so once again you take, you can take the comfortable value of x and find out the value of a and then find out the value of this expression. Suppose I take uh, maybe a, uh, x as uh, maybe 0 degree. That means from this expression a is equal to 1. Then if I take x as 0, then the value of this expression is 1, right? So if I put uh, a as 1, I should get the value as 1, okay? Value of this expression is 1. So that is uh, not possible over here. If I put a the as 1, so it, it will be root 3. Here it will be negative. Here it will be positive, okay? So if you, and since there is a none of these, what you can do, you can just go for the cross verification. You can take maybe x as 45 degree as well. So for sine 45, cos 45, both of them are 1 by root 2. So precisely it is 2 by root 2. So it is root 2 only. So sine x minus cos x, in that case, it will be 0. So if you put a as... Um, root 2, you should get the value of this expression at 0. So, a as root 2, suppose you put over here, so root 2 square will be 2, 2 minus 2, 0. So, this is the correct option, right? Uh, because the two options we have already eliminated. So, this is how you can do this questions without any paperwork. In this case, I took theta as 0 because uh, you because of theta as 0, we are not getting an indeterminate form and we are able to eliminate two of the options just by looking at the options. So that's why I took two values, theta as 0 degree and uh, after that theta is 45 degree. Okay. Now similarly, we can do this also. 
again theta as 0 and 90 will not be good options uh, so we can uh, further choose theta as 45 degree right now in that case what will happen sec theta and cos sec theta will be same and cos theta and sin uh, square theta will be same so precisely two times the entire thing if we take theta as 45 degree right so it is 2 times upon a sec square 45 degree that is 2 minus cos square 45 degrees 1 by 2. So 2 minus 1 by 2 is basically 3 by 2. So it is 3 by 4. And then uh, 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 so that is 1 by 4. So 1 by 4, 4 by 3 so it's cancelled. So just 1 by 3 we are getting. So if we put theta as 45 degree we should get 1 by 3. So this option is already eliminated in this case 1 plus 1 by 4 so that will come to uh, five, that will be 5 in the numerator so this is not done 1 minus 1 by 4 so that is 3 in the numerator we can get so we can choose this and this and these two options okay mm, we can choose any of them because I think two of the options are same so 1 minus 1 by 4 so that is 3 by 4 upon 2 plus 1 by 4 so that is 9 by 4 so precisely it is 3 by 9 or I just can say 1 by 3 okay so that's pretty simple okay I'm sorry it is cos theta over here and it is cos square theta over here so but finally we are getting correct answer from this uh, option so no need to worry that's the correct one One more problem. See here 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta is 5 that is given to you and you have to find out the value of modulus of 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta. So once again we will have the same approach. Uh, see 5, 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta is 5. Now, now you can do this question smartly. See if you take theta as 0 degree you will get this as 0. So 5 is equal to 5 the equation will be satisfied. That means we can put uh, theta as 0 degree right so if we put theta as 0 degree over here what we will be getting minus 3 uh, but under modulus so modulus of minus 3 will be 3 only so pretty simple question is this this sort of questions will not take more than 20 or 30 seconds of yours if you do these questions partly right if the value um, over here 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta is 3 then you could have put uh, theta is 90 degree so in that case 3 sin theta see 3 sin 90 degree is 3 only so in that case theta 90 degree would be, you, would, you, would, you would have got the value as 5 right so very smartly you have to take a, this sort of questions okay just be smart in choosing the value of theta now this question if sin theta plus cosec theta is equal to 2 then find the value of sin 10 theta plus cosec 10 theta. Now sin theta plus cosec theta can be 2 only when theta is 90 degree right you don't have to solve the equation that will be really time consuming. So when theta is equal to 90 degree sin 90 and cosec 90 both of them will be 1 right. So 1 plus 1 it will be 2. So just put theta is 90 degree over here so 1 plus 1 once again you are just getting 2 no need to calculate further okay 2 is the correct answer. Now similarly we can do this problem. Uh, so over here also I can take the theta, the value of theta is 45 degree, right? So 10 theta is uh, for 10 45 is 1. So it is 1 plus 1 upon 1 by root 2. So precisely it is 1 plus root 2 whole square and it is 1 minus root 2 whole square. So if you expand it you will be getting 1 plus 2 uh, plus 2 root 2 and in this case 1 plus uh, root 2 minus 2 root 2. So 2 root 2, 2 root 2 will be cancelled and 3 and 3 you will be getting 6. So if you put theta as 45 degree the value of this expression is 6. Okay. And before that if you wish to eliminate uh, of some of the options that that also you can do. If you put theta as 0 you will be getting this 1 plus 1 that is 2. That means when you put theta as 0 you will be able to get 2. Okay. So this is and this is both the options are easily eliminated now you are left with these two so when you put theta is equal to 45 degree you, you, you get 6 now just put theta as 45 degree what do we get just just we just have to see to it so suppose we take any of them you just have to solve one if you are not getting 6 then the obviously the fourth one will be your answer because these two are already eliminated so suppose I take maybe this one so 1 plus sine square theta sine sin 45 degrees 1 by root 2 so it is 1 plus 1 upon 2 so 1 1 plus 1 upon 2 is 3 by 2 and 1 minus 1 upon 2 is 1 upon 2. So it is 2 into 3, 6 we are getting so no need to calculate this. Okay, this, this is the correct answer. 
So that's pretty simple. So very easily we have done this question and uh, you have to be careful that just give the suitable value right uh, to A. Over here uh, sin theta minus cos theta plus 1, sin theta plus cos theta minus 1, you can uh, do the sum as usual. You might have done these sort of questions in your grade 10 and grade 9. Uh, over here, once again, I'll choose the comfortable value or I'll just put the comfortable value of theta. Now, over here, we cannot take a theta as a 90 degree, right? Now, what will happen? See, why I am insisting on taking an, uh, taking a correct value or a suitable value? See, if you take theta as 0 degree, suppose. So, 0, that means sine 0 will be 0. This will be 1 and 1 minus 1, 0. So, finally, you will be getting 0 uh, answer. And denominator also you will get 0. So, 0 by 0 is not valid. It, basically, it is an uh, undefined uh, format or indeterminate format, right? So, do not take 0 and 0. Instead, what you can do, you just can take the theta as 45 degree. Okay, neither 0 nor 90. Okay, because sine 90 is 1 and cos 0 is 1. So, you can take uh, 45 degree. So, sine 45 minus cos 45. Since sine 45, cos 45, both of them are having the same value. That is root 1 by root 2. So, they will be cancelled. So, in the numerator, we have just 1. Then, 1 uh, by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. So, 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 will be basically 2 by root 2. So, precisely it is root 2 minus 1. Right? 2 by root 2, that means root 2 minus 1. So, if you just rationalize it, you will be getting root 2 plus 1. Right? So, if you put theta as 45 degree, you should be able to get root 2 plus 1. So, that you will be able to get uh, theta is 0, uh, theta is 45. So, sec 45 is root 2 and plus 1. Here, you will be getting root 2 minus 1. So, this is the correct answer. Right? So, in very less amount of time with very less paperwork, you can do this problem very easily. I hope you are getting this.